Well, I've been, I must say, fascinated, I mean, have been before, but fascinated by the consequences of the editing process on, on this. And I was very, very intimately involved with it all. And I find, um, I find that very, very exciting. I find it very thrilling because for the first time, really, I, as a theater animal, what I'm seeing on stage is being captured on film. What's always up to now with the other pieces and works that I've done on, on film has been that, you know, you, yeah, you see it, but you know that, you know, say, uh, there's going to be a vocal done of the song that's being performed later. But what was fascinating to me is, is the performance in the theatre. We say, that's it, right, we've got it, we've captured it, that's it. Um, and, you know, you, with the editing process and everything, one's also able to move the action along much quicker than sometimes you can in the theatre. I don't know, I find it, I, I, I would never uh, not want to work in the theatre again, but I must say I found film very, very exciting. And what, um, from uh, watching Love Never Dies, do you get as a member of the audience that you actually don't get uh, sitting in the theatre? In your view, I think that the extraordinary closeness you can get to the actors is the main thing. I mean, you can be right up. I mean, I mean, you know, there could be the camera sometimes as far away as my hand is from my face, you know, and it's it's just extraordinary what you can therefore get in terms of intimacy. And we were blessed. I mean, it could have easily not been the case, but we were blessed with performers who understood how to use the camera. I mean, a lot of musical theatre performers wouldn't have been able to perform as these. To, I mean, Ben and Anna, I mean, the, the, the screen kind of eats them up, uh, or they eat up the screen. It's, it's, it's quite remarkable that they, uh, that they were able to act, as it were, for film, as well as for theatre. Are there productions of your shows which, if you could go back in time and, and apply this technology, um, that you would specifically like to be memorialised? Yes, I would have loved to have had Elaine Page as Evita. You know, it would have been fantastic. And, um, well, I mean, Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman would have been a wonderful thing in the original Phantom. Um, I mean, I, I, actually, I can't think of any show in a way that I wouldn't like this to be done. Um, I mean, obviously, some will work better filmically than others, but I would think that, the, I mean, the right cast with Aspects of Love would be very, very exciting for me. Um, might not be the most commercial thing of all time, but that's not necessarily the, the reason for making some of these. But I, I really do hope that it's going to unlock the door for a lot of other people, not just myself, but, but for people who love musicals, to be able to see them with some of the artists who, I mean, God, would it be wonderful if we had, um, you know, the first night of South Pacific or something, you know, to this standard. And, and instead of which, all we've got really of many, many Broadway musicals is just the sort of dusty thing that's taken for the, you know, some, some, you know, for the last night, just for the records. And you have to sort of ask for permission to go and see it in the New York Public Library. And, um, you know, and it's just one camera, you know. I know things have got much more sophisticated now, but, but even so, um, something filmed to this level is something that I've not experienced before. And um, plainly, many more people are now going to be able to see Love Never Dies than would have done beforehand. Um, what would be... What would you want to say to people who are thinking of, uh, of watching this on DVD or Blu-ray? Well, I would say that it's probably my most personal piece, wonderfully performed in a production that I myself don't think could be bettered. And if you did enjoy the original Phantom, you, I think, will get a lot out of this. And I think that people who didn't see the original Phantom will also get a lot from it because I think in many ways this is a it's a more complex piece it's certainly more complex musically and I, I would like to think that it, it is emotionally too it's certainly pushed me as far as I've, I've gone so far Andrew Lloyd Webber thank you very much thank you